Hello! Before we start the tutorial, I'll just have to tell you a short story. The summer of 2014, I got myself some new hardware. Uh, when that was installed in my computer, I had to reinstall Windows. Uh, it was the Windows 7 version. And uh, like all the other times, <coughs> I make sure that the SATA option on my in my BIOS is set to RAID instead of uh, IDE. So that I can install Windows 7 on my uh, RAID 0 SSD setup. Okay, so I uh, put in my Windows 7 DVD in the DVD slot. I boot on C uh, the DVD, but nothing. It says that there's no CD or DVD drive present. Not at all. So here is where the tutorial begins. Let me show you right now. So you click here, you um, you need to download the, the, the RAID drivers from your motherboard manufacturer's uh, website. I do recommend downloading all of them. I'll show you in a moment's time. So you click on the removable disk uh, if you are using a, uh, uh, a USB pen that is. And you find your drivers, as you can see here. I will listen mine with the number in front of the, the name itself. This is to make it uh, a lot easier to navigate and uh, instead of re remembering the whole bloody name of the drive, you just remember the number, like number 1 through 6 I think I have. So it's not in the first one, it's not in the second one either. Uh, the, right, uh, the drivers I need is in the third folder, so we'll just uh, jump to that. As you can see here, there are multiple. There's Windows 8 and there's Windows 7. Um, if you are planning on installing on a 64-bit uh, oper operating system, uh, make sure you download that as well, as well as a 32-bit uh, x86, as you can see on the screen. Uh, the x86 is the one you need in order to get your CD slash DVD drive to work. So you just install that. Okay, now that it has been installed, you choose the architecture that you so desire. I myself, I am going to use 64-bit because who the hell uses 86 nowadays? It's stupid, that's what it is. So just go through this. Now, here is where the important step is, is come up for us. <coughs> yeah, this is where I burnt myself a lot. Last time, it, it it infuriated me so f insanely much that I actually um, I broke my keyboard. I had to get a new one. Now, since you are installing a 64-bit OS, well, this is for uh, this section is only for 64-bit. If you're using a 30, 32-bit operating system, you can just go ahead and click next. But if you're using a 64-bit operating system, you have to load in. The 64 bit drives because now your installation is running on the 32 bit. And if you, if you keep if you install on the 32 bit uh, drives, the installation will be corrupt and you have to go through it all over again. But that time you have to actually choose the 64 bit. So let's keep going. So you load your drives again. As you can remember, I used the number three. Just need to find my uh, removable disk. There it is. Uh, that's the wrong folder. So number three, drives and disk, 64-bit. Now we get two options here. So I just scroll to the right and choose the one that says X64. Uh, next. Okay, to continue installation, use the load a drive option to install 32-bit and sign the 64-bit drives. Yeah, just click OK, otherwise I would not have shown you this tutorial, because this is working for me right now. I am using my computer with this setup as you, that you are looking at. And then you just go ahead and install. I'm using my operating system. This, those are my SSDs. Just uh, format those and you're good to go. If you do come up with any problems, leave a comment in the uh, comment section and I'll try and help you the best I can. Thank you for watching.
And hopefully, I will see you next time for these kind of matters. No. Bye-bye.